So, how are we doing, uh, YouTube dwellers? I'm back at my van. Um, the last video I posted from my van was uh, fixing those lights, uh, which were strips of uh, LEDs. Oops. There you go. Strips of LEDs. Uh, quite simple ones purchased on, uh, on Amazon. So, I just wanted to illustrate how effective they could be. Uh, I'm just gonna lock my van. The, the doors are shut, so I'm gonna lock my van and then I will switch it back on. You'll see how much light it can actually see. Okay, and this is the van back on. So you can see it's been uh, quite an effective uh, lights. However, uh, I've experienced some issues with the condensation in this location here. And uh, unfortunately, it just started or oh, stopped working. On, from this trip on and it's still it's still quite wet actually um, so today up oh, the lights gone off again and I will switch it back on what I will do I will uh, open the side door so we can get natural light back in okay so if the light goes off you can still see me um, okay so um, I'm uh, going to change these lights now to um, another set of uh, LED lights, which I purchased on uh, Facebook. It's uh, a company called Ledit. Uh, I've been uh, sort of avo avoiding it for, for the past 12 months or so, simply because I thought I can, uh, I can just do with these lights and they've been okay. Uh, and like I said, I've had this in my, uh, in my older van and it seems to have lasted for about four years. And uh, for the cost of uh, 10 pounds, it's, uh, it's not too bad uh, of an investment. But uh, I decided to go with the uh, with the LED and uh, just see what uh, what's the difference and if it's uh, going to give me a better light. What I might do, uh, the point where the light is still working there, up to this point, I might just snip it off and still keep some of this, or maybe I'll just uh, distribute uh, some of the lights in different locations. Okay, let's open the package. So let's see what we get in inside. We have 10 of these, which can be separated, apparently. So I've never done this before, and bear with me if uh, I come across as quite novice at, at this. I'm not an uh, electrician, so they come as strips, and it looks like you can just, with a, with a utility knife, just cut it on the back there, and you can then separate it, and you can basically uh, put them at uh, different locations or maybe in line or you can put them uh, depending if you uh, if you're doing a compartment for example uh, you might want to put like one per compartment and you do get uh, a cable which will allow you to extend so you get this and that uh, let it okay um, you get used connection and again I'm not exactly sure what these are for yet like I said never done this before so excuse the ignorance uh, I will try and follow these instructions together with you and we'll see if we can make a success out of it so uh, okay right so we have uh, the instructions here and it seems to be uh, quite a, 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 a simple uh, simple instructions basically you would use this fuse you remove your light fixture there and wherever the light bulb is you just replace it with this uh, with this fuse however I've already done a connection here uh, so I'm gonna be using the rear both rears and then I'm planning to basically chop the cable so the red will correspond to this red uh, and the black will correspond to this, obviously, to the black. So what I will do, I will chop this in half and I'm going to distribute the lights from the rear and there'll be uh, sort of a one set that's run this way and the other set that's going to run the opposite direction. But I think I'm going to probably uh, do it as I go along 
because I'm not uh, not 100% sure what I'm doing now. There's no there's no particular plan. I don't even know how well the the lights are going to light in uh, particular areas. So um, okay, let's uh, let's have a go. Right, I'm going to mount you somewhere. Um, okay, right, we're gonna remove the existing lights first. So I'll get a few tools out of uh, out of the bag. Um, I'm gonna be snipping, snip, snip, snip. Where's the nice snips? There you go. So with the old strips, I'm just gonna use these just to snip where they like these. There you go, light stays on. Okay, so we're simply going to remove this. This is connected with the Wago connectors. This is still working. I've stacked the old lights using masking tape, sellotape, on top of this insulation, and it's in some places just brought the insulation down. But that's uh, okay. We'll install this later on. Uh, this light we will leave for now. So basically, what I will do, I will cut this wire in half. I don't really need the whole length. So, okay. I'm just gonna snip. Okay. And you just want to uh, expose a little bit of the cable. You don't need too much. In fact, if you're going to be connecting this with the, these Wago connectors, just do a double, like so. Twist the wire like that, and you can see it's a nice and rigid wire. You then want to bend it in half, like so, and then keep twisting. It's just that it's going to give you a better grip on the connector. I'm using these uh, Wago connectors, which are uh, removable. Some of the Wagos are not removable. These are for permanent uh, connections. But I'm using these. If I ever need to remove it, I don't have to waste it. So, okay, I'm going to be connecting that to my lights. And this side I kept still with this uh, fuse. Oh like a sort of a, an, oops, an imitation light bulb just so I can remember which side is the red and which side is the, the white I'm not sure if there's a difference but uh, just leave your, your comment below if you think uh, there is a difference or maybe it doesn't matter so what I will do uh, I'm just going to do oops I'm just going to do a connection on the actual light just to see whether it comes on or off. So on the light itself, you've got one with a red, with a pink or red, which will indicate obviously the red and white. So let's see how this works. Okay. And I'm just going to do a very simple connection, just as a temporary connection. Okay, so the one with the white, there's a black and white on the leaded cables, there is black and white, you can see there, 
and the other one is totally black. So the black and white is on the red side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect those two wherever the red is. I'm just going to do a connection. And again, this is just temporary, just to see whether it's going to come on or, or not. And then I can always swap them if they're not working. Okay, right, so with that in mind, I'm going to be snipping those off now. Snip, snip. And again, twist it. Right, last twist. So I'm gonna do a temporary connection now. I'm just gonna rest this in here. I think you can just see that. And let's see if this comes on. Or it might blow in my face. I've not disconnected the fuse, by the way. And I think it is suggested that you do definitely turn the fuse off. There you go, voila. So the light does work. Very, very simple. Uh, seems to be quite light. I'm gonna, I'm gonna install this, and what we will do, we will, uh, we'll come back and uh, do it with the van turned off, and uh, all the doors are closed, and then we'll see how much more light this is gonna give us. So, if you bear with me, by the way, if you've uh, managed to survive all this time, just uh, put one of them likes and. Uh, subscribe that would be great okay see you back in a second okay so i'm just uh, just about to uh, start cutting these uh you can just use a, a utility knife on this uh, just be careful you're not gonna cut through these uh, cables but you can literally just give it a quick swipe just be again careful with the cable not to cut through And so as you're separating these, they become a little distance. So I'm not actually sure how many I need in one line. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with three per section. Um, and I think if I have three, I've got four. In fact, I'm gonna go with five, one, two, so five, five, and five. But I think that is far too much. No, I'm gonna go with five. So three rows of five strips. Uh, and I think this would give me the light that I need. And then we can daisy chain them to connect them together from the other side. All I'm doing, there is a, a peel 3M backing sort of sticky pad. Not sure if it's gonna be, uh, gonna be enough, but you can also reinforce what I'm gonna be doing. These cables, I'm gonna reinforce with some uh, duct tape. So bear with me. When you're doing it, you just want to make sure that wherever you put it, it's where you really want the light to come on to, you know, which area you actually want it to light. There's no point just putting them scattered all over the place. Yes, it will give you the light, a lighter van, but try and be a bit more planned, not like I am. Before I'm going to reinforce these, just in case I'm not liking where I've just stuck it, I'm going to I'm going to turn everything on. Okay. 
seems uh, to stick well enough onto my uh, roof insulation. So but I'm not sure what uh, you're going to be sticking, but just make sure. By the way, I just realized what the wipes are for. It's so you can wipe maybe the, the roof of your van. Um, I would probably recommend to stick them onto those ribs. Okay. So, and this is why I'm going to do another connection and I will come on to uh, the center here. In fact, I'm not going to do it on the rib, I'm just going to do it through the center here to give me more, a better distribution of light. So, we're going to cut those strips again. This is the boring bit. Some of you might think the whole video is the boring bit, but uh, so okay. In fact, I just realized I can stick three of them. Um, how do I do that? If I stick three, yeah. I can stick three in here. I don't really need the light on that side. Or I can stick four in here. And then I can just loop it to the locations where I need. Okay, right, so. Yeah, don't forget to peel it back. <laughs> so I'm pulling the cables, not tight, but I mean, not too tight, but uh, tight enough so they're nice and flat on the ceiling. Sometimes it's sort of better to finish with the light up here in this location here so it shines sideways rather than directly above it and then it just throws a shadow to the shelves, uh, shelves below. So I think now you can see the, the van without light. Uh, I think what I will do now is continue, continue, okay so I can extend all that that way. Yeah. Now what I'm doing, I'm cutting those cables and then I can move forward with the location of the next three strips or four strips. Much easier when you have something to work on cutting those strips. Okay, so cut them on now and um, four in the back and then I'm gonna put some more on the front rib really hoping this is gonna provide enough light for my needs especially in winter where you really cannot see inside your van okay and then maybe we will get two more so I've got two here 
and I'm going to do two more towards the front of the van. And again, I still have the strips above me, the old ones. I might use them. Okay, last two. Um, I will put them here. Okay, right. So, this one above. I'm just gonna take that and it's gonna be noisy for you there. You like that noise? Okay. Shame to uh, get rid of it totally. Well, you can even put this inside your shelves or above your shelves, and this will still provide. I'll, I'll flick the keys, and you see it still comes on. So, okay. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to connect all these lights in a in a looping system, and. Uh, We'll come back to this.